first overall pick and Laker Kwame Brown went off on LeBron, failing to force overtime or win game four against the Nuggets. Ooh, he didn't hold back. Check it out. I have never seen a guy of your caliber, a supposed caliber, you don't even get a shot off. You supposed to be the best scorer in the game. You got all these points. But you were looking for a bailout again. Kobe Bryant would have probably looked at that rose up for a three and won the game. Throughout history, people are going to, you know, the little nerds are going to look up your stat line and they're going to say, he got to be the greatest player that ever played the game. And, and people who actually play are going to know that is. Tell us how you really feel, Kwame. Shannon, what's your reaction to his thoughts? I'm just going to know what, what, what's his end game here. You talking about what Kobe would have done? What would you have been done? What would you have done? <laughs> You're number one overall pick. Yeah. I, I don't get it because LeBron was in a no-win situation. People say, LeBron, why would you set a 4-3? Why would you shoot a step back this? He drives the ball. Jamal Murray does a great job of tying him up. And that even as he holds on to the ball, he's trying to get the shot up. Aaron Gordon blocks it. Now he said, well, he should have pulled up. It's easy to say what you should have done after the fact of knowing what has happened. Yep. And, and Skip, he said, you're supposed to be great? Really, Kwame, of all the people, he should never, ever question anybody's greatness. Because this is what we know. If there's a Mount Rushmore for bust mm -hmm. in the NBA history, whether he's the first head, the second head, the third, or the fourth, he's on Mount Rushmore of bust NBA players. There's no question. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to question a guy that's, whether you say he's first, second, he's top five of the greatest players to ever play. I remember I heard him talk when Kobe scored 81. He's talking about he's sitting damn good screens. Really? Dude, you're the number one pick in the draft, and you talk about you setting screens. Yep. Talk about the games that you played. Talk about the game when it shots you hit. Skip, look, I get Kobe and Mike was graceful. They were elegant. They were Barishnikov. Yep. But it's just not true. They haven't hit more game winning shots than LeBron. The numbers don't lie. You can just go look it up, Kwame. You have plenty of time. Hell, you're on your farm down in, there, down in Georgia. You got plenty of time. You ain't playing no hoops. You should still be in the NBA. But you want to take a shot because this is your thing, Skip. Look what it did. Everybody, he was, he was trending. Mm. He got exactly what he wanted. Okay. He trended more for saying something because sometimes, Skip, the only success you can have is taking a bite out of somebody that's successful. He trended more for what he said about LeBron than anything he ever done in the NBA. That's a fact. Now, that's a, that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. Now, whatever you're good at, that's what you should be, like, trending for. Kwame Brown dropped 30 and 20. Kwame Brown had a triple-double. Mm-hmm. We can't pull up nothing where they say, come, Kwame Brown ever had a great game. But he wants to take a shot. And, so, and the nerds will look at the stat line. You ain't got to look at the stat line. Go watch the game. If you didn't think LeBron James, if you didn't think LeBron James played great in that game, sometimes you can play great, Skip, and still lose. Sometimes you can play, ba play bad and win. That's happened. But I don't get, I, I'm, just try, I'm just trying to get, I'm just try, Skip, I, I, I'm just trying to figure out where, what, what was Kwame hoping to accomplish? Because he jumped on there like he was like, he was like oh, oh, and LeBron James, you're supposed to be a superstar. You're supposed to be all one of these all-time great players. You're supposed to be? No. You were supposed to be an all-time great player. You were supposed to be a superstar. That was the supposed. Not LeBron. LeBron James is hmm. Everything that people thought he would be and more. Yep. You are what people, you became nothing of what you were supposed to be. Yep. I just don't get his end game. I don't hope, bruh, go at Gilbert Arenas. Go at, go at Stacks and Matt Barnes that's been on your head. LeBron James has never said anything about you. Mm -mm. And you going to take a shot at the man, why? Because you know what, I'm trending. And you don't get people on my social media page. Bro, you, 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 you a joke. You a joke. You from the crib. You from that. You, I mean, you're a joke. Really. Real, real talk. You're a joke. Mm. Okay. My turn on this. And I hear everything you just said. Believe it or not, I was on the phone with Michael Jordan the night before that draft. And I asked him, which way are you leaning? 
and he said Kwame. And I couldn't argue or respond because I, I didn't know Kwame's game. I mean, how, how could I know? Because I hadn't seen him at all. His game was that he was, he was seven foot tall yeah. in high school and he dominated. But I don't think he won the state championship his year. Okay. But I didn't see him because he wasn't on TV. So I, I didn't know what we were even talking mm -hmm. about. I just knew of him. I knew right. his name. But when these guys get picked one overall and they flop, I don't blame them. I blamed who picked them because that's on Michael Jordan. You, you got to know better, right? Mm -hmm. I, I can't condemn Kwame for getting picked one overall and not living up because you, you could just see right away he can't live up. Right. Right. He, he should not have been the first overall pick. Well, Skip, right? he could have been first, second, third. He could have been 21st. He thank was terrible. You. Okay. The way he you. got picked had nothing to do with the bus. Okay, but he shouldn't have gone one because you, you know now he, he averaged – for his career, seven points and six rebounds. Well, you can't take him first. So, hell, Skip, if, he, well, if, like, you, hey, Skip, if you pick him 15, seven points and six rebounds is terrible uh, there, too. That's on Michael Jordan. I'll say it again. I'm the biggest Jordan fan as a player, but I think Jordan has proven to be the all-time worst you, GM. Yeah, Skip, uh, yeah, okay. that might be the case. But at some point in time, we got to stop blaming these, blaming these execs for players not looking off the read. Okay, but, but Kwame, you, you could see it after a year. He wasn't. He wasn't a first round pick. He wasn't a second round pick. He should have been undrafted. Well, right. He, That's well, how he, he played. He's doing what he's supposed to do now. Now he's a big ass yeah. farmer. All right. He's the okay. tallest farmer in America. How about that? Okay. To his credit, every time he does these videos, he he'll say at some point, and I wrote down the quote in the middle of this one. He said, "I know I was a bust." So he just readily acknowledges nah, everything nah, nah, you nah. just say. No, 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 but okay. he's, 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 what he's trying to do okay. is that he's trying to take ownership to take the toxicity out of it. Well, he said, but, therefore, but, no, I, but he said, just call me a fan. I'm just a fan now. No, so, no, no, you okay. can't be no fan. Okay. Well, self, but there ain't no self foot fans. Well, there are. But. Who? They play in the NBA. They okay. were good. Okay. But, I mean, a lot of – there's seven-footers who didn't play basketball. They right? ain't no fan. Okay. I mean, they don't have comments talking trash about somebody else that's historically okay. and transcendently great. All right. So what, what small credibility does Kwame have? Well, he did play with Jordan, and he did play with Kobe. So he has firsthand knowledge of what they look like and how they react. Yeah, right? and I have firsthand knowledge of what they thought of him and what he looked like. Okay, all right. I, I got you. But but he has a tiny bit of credibility just because he actually played basketball with both those players. Yeah. And he played with a lot of other players. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how'd that work out for him? All right. Well, it, they couldn't wait to get rid of him, huh? All right, I got it. Now, here's my issue with what Kwame was criticized. Okay, first of all, he, he disqualified himself because he, he was acting like he was a disgruntled better because there was a line about, you made me bet my money on this game. Like, I, I lost my money betting on you. Well, nobody made, made you. you. <laughs> he, he's saying, I thought you were so good that I bet on you in game four and you let me down. Well, now he's just axed to grind better. Right. Like, like. A million others. Yeah, kind of like what uh, sore loser. When Bradley Beal got into it with the guy, and he said, "You you cost me my fantasy, okay. or you cost All me right. some money." All right. Now his criticism for me lost me because we got to the moment of truth, and and I get it. He he had two last shots, and right. I told you the day we came out here on Tuesday morning, he didn't even get the ball up to the rim on either one of them. And I blame the the coach, the play, yeah. LeBron, and and I also credit the defense on yeah. both of them because yes. it was supreme defense. Right. It was superior defense right. on both plays. Because LeBron on the first play winds up with some fall away well, on the I'm baseline. Going out of bounds, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and he, it, 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 it hits the side of the backboard. Okay, you, you as a team, you can do better than that. You can get a better shot than that. Then on the final play, Kwame is condemning LeBron for flopping and, and trying to get the refs to bail you out. No. I, Shannon, okay, you, you know me. I, I'm the one who said from the start, don't, don't just pull up and shoot a three because that's right. not your forte. Right. That's not your, your strength is your strength. Right. Your strength is to put your head down and go to the Attack bucket. Attack the rim. And, and if required, if it gets to that, if you have to go stand there and shoot those free throws, even though that has not also been your strength, maybe this time you can go stand there by yourself 15 feet away. You're going to have to make both of them to get to overtime. Maybe you can do it. Right. But he risked the free throws this time because he put his head down. Correct. And I told you the next day, I have mixed emotions. I love that. Right. Because he should have done that a thousand other times, and he took three-point shots, which, as we saw through these playoffs, not his forte. But think about this, Skip. How many times that everybody said drive the ball, he took a three, he took a step back, or he passed it all together. 
and people criticize, criticize, mm -hmm. criticize, criticize. Mm -hmm. So he this time he says, you know what? I'm gonna try to put my head down, like when uh, uh, he tied the game up against Memphis. Skip, you know he he said, I'm, I'm going to the basket, uh, uh, Melt, and you can't stop me. Okay, uh, well, Tillman, okay. Xavier Tillman. Okay, but what did he done in the first quarter of this game? Post drive, yes. post yes. drive. I know he got hot for a moment there from from three, but Shannon. He scored 21 first quarter points and 31 first half points in largest part because he attacked them in ways they could not stop. Right. He played bully ball with the team he could bully because he can bully just about anybody, even at age 38. Right. Okay. So he went right back to the well. And Kwame is just flat out wrong in his appraisal of this that, that he was looking for the refs to bail him out. No, he wasn't. Perfect. No, that's the last thing he wanted. Right. He just wanted to go score the basketball. Right. Once upon a time, he drove by Paul George, and he ended up with a left-handed layup yep. off yep. the glass. He didn't dunk it. He just laid it up off the glass. By the way, he was born left-handed, so he's just as good right. with his left hand as he is and with he his right himself, hand. He taught himself to shoot. Skip, right. here's the thing. LeBron James has seven game-winning or game-tying shots in the final one second of playoff games. Mm -hmm. He's 7 of 12, 58%. No one else in the last 26 years, which as far as the database data data goes back, has more than two. Kobe Bryant is two of seven, 28 percent. So based on this stat, LeBron James is the most, most clutch player of his generation and is not close. Now, this is not how I feel about something. Yeah. This is not what someone told me. This is about them putting in data and the computer spitting it out. Yeah. Saying, this is what happened. We put in everybody that's taking a shot to tie the game or win the game. In the final one second, LeBron James is 7 of 12, 58%. Mm -hmm. Nobody else has more than two of those in the playoffs. This was a playoff game. So, Kwame, your feelings, your emotion is misguided. Okay.